looking for some order in the universe. Everything seemed random and chaotic. I mean, maybe some things are, but not the organization of how everything that our world, our bodies, our universe is made up of. I'm Thor Giese, I'm a trained archeologist, and like most people, I worked all through college, mostly doing outdoor science education and cooking in restaurants. I'm also a hunter, fisherman, forager, and award-winning gardener of tomatoes, second place in the county fair, 2021, still counts as an award. So I found a great way of blending all my experiences together in my series, Table for 92, cooking through the periodic table of elements. It kind of gives me some comfort knowing there is some fundamental order in the universe that can be explained in the periodic table of elements, that we can harness that fundamental order for good and evil and everything in between. Want some table salt? Throw together sodium and chlorine. Want to make bronze? Throw in a little tin and a bunch of copper. Want to end the world? Set off every hydrogen bomb we've ever created simultaneously. Many, but not all, of the elements are found in the foods we eat every day. Some of the elements that are not found in foods are still important in food processing and preservation, while other elements are so rare on Earth they're negligible in food, like unobtainium and vibranium. Now, those are movie elements, not real elements. So each episode in Table for 92 will cover the history of the discovery of a single element, its relationship to food, and its relationship to us. I have built this outdoor kitchen to complete my project of cooking through the periodic table of elements. We have the asado grill here, known as a perilla from Argentina. This is where almost all the meat for the show will be cooked. The folks down in the southern parts of the Americas, I believe, have perfected the art of grilling, and the way is low and slow. This is the way. You start out with good hardwood, like oak, ash, or walnut, that will help create clean burning and superior charcoal. As the hardwood burns in the brazier, the hot coals fall to the base of the grill station, then I slowly rake the coals under this perea. This process takes hours to really complete, but it results in the most flavorful, juicy, tender meat you will ever have in your life. I was almost brought to tears the first time I ate a chicken thigh off this. I don't usually love the food I've cooked myself. It's that weird psychological thing that food always tastes better when someone else has cooked it for you. But this asado grill has changed something in my brain. Over here, we have the fire pit for all the sauteing, deep frying, and anytime I need to use the griddle. Behind here is the rock oven I built with local stone, a lot of really beautiful, nice quartz, and fortified with fire mortar to keep the heat in. The rocks I've used to cover it with is hard sandstone and have some really nice trace fossils within them. These are ripple marks preserved from when this area of New Jersey was covered with ocean hundreds of millions of years ago. This is a geologist's dream oven. Now, the reason the show is called Table for 92 is because of all the 118 elements discovered so far, only 92 of them are naturally occurring. The rest after number 92, uranium, have been created in laboratories, and many of those man-made elements only existed in stable form for milliseconds. So we're focusing on the 92 elements found in nature. The modern world has been in large part built on the discovery of these elements and how we use them. With that in mind, please join me in dining at the table for 92.